gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, really appreciate everybody out there taking a little time to watch the video. And also, just like to invite everybody that is not subscribed to the channel, which half the people that watch the videos are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification button. It's a good way to help support the channel out if you like what's going on here. Today, we're actually going to respond to a, sub a subscriber request that they wanted to know everything that you need to know about the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. Um, we're going to get into this. It's one of my favorite baits, and uh, I think you guys are going to catch some really good fish after I give you this info. Also, just wanted to give you guys a reminder that Bait Works here in Springfield, Missouri has a giant selection of dark sleepers. Um, if you use the link that I put in the description, that's a good way to help the channel here. And you can also get your Blockett Old School Jigs over there. I'll put the link in the description for that. Much appreciated, guys. Okay, dark sleeper, guys. Here it is. If you guys, I think most people that have are watching this video are familiar with it. If you're not familiar with it, this is the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. Looks like a swim bait, but it's not really a swim bait. And that's what I'm going to talk about, how to fish this bait. You know, at, the, at first look, it looks like a swim bait. It's got the paddle tail. It looks like a fish. Um, but the difference that you have in this is this is, has an internal forward head weight on it. Let me see if I can get you another one you can see inside of it. Yeah, you can see this a little bit better. See that lead weight in the head right there? Um, this is what makes a swim bait or this bait more unique than anything else. Because this keel on and the flat bottom here, this bait is designed to fit to be fished on the bottom or just off the bottom. That's the big difference in it. And the biggest thing that I want to talk about with the dark sleeper is how you fish this bait like a bottom bouncing lure, like a jig or shaky head or ned rig. I don't catch any fish on this bait throwing it out there and just swimming it through the water column. Now I've caught some fish on it, but that's just you know, you could catch, you can catch fish swimming a plastic worm back once in a while. But the times that I catch them on this thing is when I have this bait close to the bottom, making contact with the bottom. Um, most of the time I'm fishing it, you know, just with short hops of the rod, just popping it off the bottom. Sometimes I'll drag it just like a football head jig, but I'm always trying to keep this bait in contact with the bottom. Now, this is a super versatile bait, guys. You've got three different sizes. You've got this little... Uh, two and a half, two and a 2.4 inch model. You've got a three inch model, and then you've also got the bigger three and a half inch model. Three different ones. They come in a variety of sizes, two different weights on the head. Now, the thing about the dark sleeper, one thing you're going to find out, it works all year long. It's a great bait in the winter time. If you're, you know, fishing points or bluffy type banks, um, I'll use a little bitty small two inch size, and I'll put it like on six pound test line fish it down rocky banks. Um, in the springtime of the year, during the pre-spawn and the spawn and the post-spawn, I like to fish it around spawning type areas, gravelly type banks, and I'll throw it out there, just make a long cast in shallow water and just reel it slowly across the bottom. Um, something about those fish that are in that spawning mode, do they really like that? Maybe coming across the beds or you know pre-spawn stages or whatever. And in the summer and the fall time of the year, I like to fish it in deeper water. And that's when I really like to go out to the ledges, like the drop-offs and the points, and really fish that jig, or really fish that dark sleeper exactly how I would with like a big Texas rig worm or a jig or something like that. It's a super fun bait to fish because what happens most of the time is, is you'll be throwing it out there and you'll work, you'll pop it off the, off the bottom and they don't hit it very much when it's on the bottom or when it's falling. Most of the time, it's like, I'll throw it out there and I'll work back in, I'll, I'll pop it like that or hop it. And it's like, I'll hop it a couple times. And it's like, when I get to the, the top of the hop, they're there and then you just have to start reeling. It's like they hit it as it comes up, almost like it creates a reaction strike, like it's trying to get away with them. But there's a lot of different colors also. You have a wide range of different crawdad type, you know, colors like that. And then you got a wide range of different shad patterns to match the forage of the fish or the forage of the, the bass are on there. But um, as far as water visibilities goes, like I said, it'll work 12 months out of the year. I do water visibilities. Um, I think that you need at least three foot of clarity for it to be really effective. Ideally, I sort of like that um, four to eight foot zone, four to eight foot clarity is where this bait really works good at. It also works good on all three species. It doesn't matter if it's largemouth, spotted bass, smallmouth. I use this bait a ton down at Tabor Rock Lake here in Missouri, and I catch all three species on it 
you know, almost every day that I go out there, I'll catch a large mouth of spotted bass and a, and a small mouth on it. So it's really good from that standpoint. Uh, most of the time I'm fishing the smaller size on like a spinning rod with six pound test Seaguar and Vizex. And then the bigger size is the three and the three and a half model inch model. I'm usually using like a seven foot uh, medium, medium heavy action, uh, mega bass, perfect pitch rod. Uh, and I don't like to go over 10 pound test line. I usually stay like 10 pound test Seaguar and Vizex, uh, most on all the little bit bigger ones there. But anyway, guys, give it a try, man. It's um, one of my favorite baits, man. These little things are deadly. One thing I will advise, we'll, we'll, I'll give you guys a little bit of a, of a tip here. The hook is in is behind the uh, the dorsal fin here. And what happens, this is a really, it's a small hook, but it's really stiff. I mean, it doesn't bend out at all. But one of the things that I would recommend is, see here, I've opened this bite gap up a little bit. I've took my pliers and bent it up just a little bit. And it seems like I notice I get a little bit better. You can see that hook point's just barely uh, sticking out of it there. I get a little bit better penetration if I bend that point out just a little bit. You can cook them without it, but that seems to help out a little bit there. So give it a try, guys. Like I said, bait works link in the description. They got a big selection there. Add it to your arsenal. It's um, it's one of this going to be one of the staples. I mean, people that have used dark sleepers swear by the dark sleeper. I've never talked to anyone out there that has fished it very long and don't just doesn't really love this bait. Um, I've just caught a ton of fish on it for the last three years and. I definitely think it'll, get, it'll help you guys catch some good ones. I've never caught any big fish on them. I think the biggest fish I've ever caught on one was probably, you know, four and a half or five pounders, but it's a good limit getter, man. It's, it's really effective on those, you know, pound and three quarter to two and three quarter pound fish. You catch a lot of those, those size fish on them. So hope it helps you guys out. We'll talk later.